Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss about transformations and actions in PySpark. What is a transformation? Transformation means whatever function we apply on top of RDD or data frame or data set, that function is called as transformation means the instruction that we are giving to PySpark through RDD or data frame is called as transformation. It's nothing but functions. Okay, functions that are available in RDD and data frames are called as transformations. There are two types of transformations in PySpark. One is narrow transformation and another one is wide transformation. So, in what is narrow transformation? Narrow transformation means the results will be moved within the partition. First of all, let's understand how a file will be divided into partition. Let's say we have a text file which is text file.txt and we are reading that as a RDD resilient distributed data set. Once you read that file into Spark, it will become a RDD. Once the RDD is read the file, it will split the file into multiple partitions and it will store those files in different nodes. Nodes means here worker nodes in the Spark cluster. Okay. So, when any transformation which is narrow transformation happens, here in the partition 1, if we are giving some narrow transformation, then it will have the result within the partition and it will not work with any other partition for any reason. Whatever transformation or function we are calling from through RDD, that will happen within the single partition. Okay. Some examples for narrow transformations are map, filter, flat map, union, intersection, sample, map partition. All these are examples of narrow transformations. Means when you perform these fu functions on RDD, the result will be within the partition and there will not be any shuffle operation happens between the nodes or partitions. This is the meaning of narrow transformations. Another transformation is wide transformation. Wide transformation means the result will be moved across the partitions. Okay. We will see with an example. So, what are the wide transformations available in PySpark? Group by key, reduce by key, aggregate by key, sort by key, join, co-group and there are many more. So, in this wide transformation, when it will happen, if there is any shuffle of the data between the partitions or nodes, then that is called as wide transformations. Okay. So, next are actions. What is an action? Functions that trigger the jobs are called as actions. And in the previous videos, we have discussed like PySpark is a its a data frame or uh, RDD are lazily evaluated. Means when you instruct by giving some transformation, it will not be triggered, it will not be executed. But when it, the, that instruction will be executed, when you trigger an action on that particular RDD or data frame, only in such case it will trigger the job. Okay. So, that trigger is called as action. What are the available op options in PySpark? Reduce, collect, show, reduce and uh, reduce can be used in both uh, RDD and data frame. Collect is used for RDD, show is for printing the RDD and take for taking any particular number of records uh, we will use take and we have to put the param pass the parameter as number of records and count save as text file count by key for each take sample and there are many more these are all called as actions 
means when you use these actions one of these actions in the code then only the job will be triggered we will see all these things with an example now okay so now this is the databricks notepad i have taken for the demo so if you see here we have a few columns and we have some sample data from this sample data i am creating an rdd here so how to create an rdd one of the ways like spark dot spark context dot parallelize and we will pass this data here and until and uh, this is the transformation but until and unless we put some uh, action this transformation will not be executed so that because of that reason i have used collect here which is an action so that i can get some result out of it so when i execute this we got this output whatever is present in the data so now this is the rdd this is how we can create the rdd similarly it's a data frame how to create a data frame we can create using rdd as well right so rdd dot 2df of columns columns means from here it will take the columns and it will create a data frame this way and data frame api has show method for printing the data okay so now if you see here this is the way rdd prints and this is the way df will get print mean data frame so which is like well very close to the relational table that's why data frame is more easy to visualize and it's very user friendly okay and next thing is now we will see about actions and transformations how exactly it will work so if you see here we have this rdd i am saying that map what that what this map function do is whatever we give the function here to to perform it will be applied to each and every element available in the rdd for example this is an element this is an element this is an element and here i am taking that entire rdd as x okay this is the syntax of using map using the lambda function and x is the rdd i am saying that it has three elements okay student number student name and marks so i need student number student name as it is but marks should be increment by 1 which is plus 1 and i am saying that dot collect if i don't give dot collect it will not print that example also we will see further and if you see here and it is executed and you can see the marks here 345 or is there one is added which is becoming like 346 similarly 446 is becoming 447 and 398 is becoming 399 because in the map function we have given plus 1 for the third element okay next i am creating another rdd okay this is just to show you the shuffle operation and also see here we have used map and the spark job we will see how it is creating and for the map you can see only one stage is created in the dag means only one stage there is no shuffle operation happens because map is a narrow transformation okay so now just to show you the difference between wide and narrow i am creating another rdd with the same data and i am creating another join rdd by joining rdd and rdd1 rdd is what this data initially we just created some sample and i am creating another rdd1 using the same data it's like same as it is and i am creating one join dot rdd okay and when i collect that if you see the stages there will be two stages created stage 3 and stage 4 stage 3 if you see two parallelize methods are called one for rdd1 another one for rdd2 so internally it will do the union and it will have the exchange here means it will cache the output after union performing the union it will be cached the data will be cached in this particular place you can see here right 
join at if i place the cursor you can see join at and it is there so when we are joining immediately it will create another stage okay so when another stage will be created if it is a wide transformation then another stage will be created if it is a narrow transformation because it will happen within the same partition in a single stage it will happen okay that the execution will happen in the single stage and here if you can see in this is shuffle rdd you can see here right the highlighted one so after caching shuffle rdd will be created internally and it will be collected so with this what did you understand if it is a narrow transformation like this it will have only one stage if because it it, it happens inside a single partition if it is a wide transformation like join or co group or whatever we can see that it will create two stages and from the stage one the cache will be the cached data will be sent to the second stage as input exchange we call that as exchange okay and if you see he, the, you you also have seen that that shuffle rdd is created we have never mentioned anything about RD, shuffle rdd but it is internally taken as shuffle rdd okay and now let's see this i am just calling the count again count is action okay and if you see here because this is action you can see this entire thing is grayed out because it is not active now and it has counted from this stage 6 that is the meaning of using this count here now let's say i am taking another uh we uh, this one uh, transformation narrow transformation filter and when i execute if you see there is no job created like here we have spark jobs wherever wherever we have this actions you can see spark jobs spark job but here i have just given filter and you can see just out and there is some data frame details are given but there is no job has been submitted now the same command i am using dot show dot show is a action so on top of this transformation narrow transformation i have given show and you can see the spark jobs now okay and when i view these stages you can see there is a rdd uh, i mean uh, first we have created the parallelize for rdd and then inside that we have used map but internally it has taken map partitions because these are all related to the optimization techniques that spark uses for better handling of data for very quick completion of the job okay even though we use map see here it will show map partition rdd will be created when we use map okay i mean on high level we say only rdd but internally it will have map partition rdd shuffle rdd such kind of internally internal to the spark there are many rdds available so because map is a narrow transformation here it everything is present in the single stage here okay so now what happened here we have the show string it is saying see inside the map partition we have show string it is clearly saying why we have this show string everything okay now and also you can see here when the transformation alone he has given nothing has done but when you trigger this with with an action then only jobs are created so you got the difference between uh, actions and transformations right this is how transformations and actions work in spice park so whatever instructions you give will be whatever that functions you called for giving the instructions right for to the rdd and data frames are called as transformations and transformations will not be triggered they will just keep the plan and uh, logical plan and keep it ready they the job will be triggered only when you perform or when you trigger an action in spark this concept is called as lazy evaluation okay and these are the transformations and wide and narrow transformations available in spark these are the some of the actions available in spark thanks for watching the video friends please subscribe to our channel for more interesting learnings